that makes it better. I like. I I haven't seen what the green screen was. I really like that I've got Adam West behind me. You're gonna have lots of. That's all. That's those were the days. Nice green shirt, Ben. Here, you you just be you. I'll adjust it. So (laughs) that's what she. That's what she said. (laughs) (laughs) Take your time. All right. Let's make it so we can see more of. There. There we go. Double Adam. Oh, hey, Batman that. collage. So, I wore a green shirt. Welcome to the Spark of Madness. It's going to be a great show. <laughs> it's the city that showed you what Spark of Madness needs to be. What? Cue, uh, cue the green. <laughs> 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 I, uh, oh, I didn't hold on. understand. Oh, oh, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Sorry>. uh, <laughs> We are uh, week two of our superhero bonanza. Uh, last week we did Thor Ragnarok, so if you haven't... And that was a yawn. Watch or listen to that. Yeah. Uh, Seriously, it was boring. That was... Yeah. It's a pretty good key. We're, we're, the, we're like the only ones still that didn't find that movie like the best thing they've ever seen. It was fun. So, um, it, was, it was a popcorn muncher. Today we're doing a showdown episode. <laughs> what are you doing? He's kissing his boy. You're kissing. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Wrong way. No, what is that? All right. We're doing a lot of. That's a picture where you see what you want to see. We're doing quite a bit of uh, visual comedy here. Um, So today we're going to do a showdown episode uh, because Batman, not Batman. Justice League. Justice League is coming out next week. And yeah. apparently we're going to do that. <laughs> All uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Subject ourselves to more Zack Snyder. Um, no. I like Zack Snyder. It's not Zack Snyder. Well, this harkens back to our Batman v Superman podcast that we did. Uh-huh. Uh, because Many moons ago. that was our last, I guess you could say Wonder Woman technically, but <sighs> we did like a combo of our of the new iteration of Batman, which is Ben Affleck. Uh, who was the reboot after how many years since Dark Knight Rises? Like five, like a five Not year very gap. Many, yeah, yeah, it wasn't too many. Probably the closest gap. Yeah, so <laughs> the closest gap. Oh my god, this is the best. <sighs> People watching, I, I'm gonna get so distracted. <laughs> Oh, oh this is too good. This is amazing. <laughs> I did a little prep work for this. If anybody <laughs> Batman related, anybody wa- anybody uh, listening should go watch this one. <laughs> There's a lot of good visuals. Um, but we're gonna better do visual than audio. We're gonna do a showdown episode, and, but we're not gonna talk about which is the best Batman movie. No, that is our big distinction. We will talk about all the Batman movies, but we're gonna try and decide who was the best iteration of Batman. All right. All right. The best portrayal. Good. Yes. Mm. And we've got uh, breakdowns, <laughs> but. Um... <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I, could, I could not have foreseen this. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Ben's picking out on West nose. Can we do the title card now? Yeah, yes. Let's just start. <laughs> I'm going to jump better right start. Into it. Title card. Woo! Look at all those Batmans. Look at those rubber nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I adore them all. <laughs> yes. If I was still alive, I'd be in a Batman movie. <laughs> you think you would? I, I, you yeah, know. I think so. I think Tim Burton yeah, would put on a movie. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. Well, so on the last one, before we get into the specific... So, this is a this is a, f- a showdown between the Adam West Batman, who appeared in only one movie, but he's he had a whole and TV he show. scores of the TV show. Yeah. yeah. So, he's got like a little bit of a backlog. Then we have two... Michael Keaton's, yes. one Val Kilmer, one George Clooney, George Clooney, three Christian Bales, and one and a half. One at yeah, at this one point, and a half Ben Affleck. One because and he, a third. Maybe is it not a Batman movie though? But it's still Batman because he was in um, uh, a little bit of. He was barely in. He was Wonder in Woman. Suicide Squad for two minutes. Suicide oh Squad, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So like so one half one yeah sure. Uh, so he actually I think has the hardest. Um, he's in the most difficult situation because he hasn't gotten his own movie. But uh, yeah. we'll talk. And he about might not it. even be in the, his own movie that's coming up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they may replace. Well, well, he I just think, might get a replacement. Yeah, yeah I think he point. wants out. <laughs> sad, sad Ben Affleck. Well, is, I think they probably want him out for all like all the 
crazy stuff that's going on in Hollywood right now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say that's fair. Uh, it's yeah. not. It's not Hard a good day to be Womanizer. Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> and his brother. Um, yeah, those yeah. Affleck. His brother's a rapist. So uh, let's start with our first. So the idea of our showdown is we're going to decide who's the best Batman between those options. Uh, but we're going to break it down in five different categories like we normally do. Uh-huh. And, a, and pick like a winner of that one. And then at the end, we'll give our overall like, all who right. was the best? Get on with it! So, all right. First one. Best origin best story. Best origin story. Whoa, whoa. So this is... Because I know some of them don't tack because they're continuations of, like, a first movie that hit at the origin story. So this is also, like, try and lump in oh, I got one. the the motivation behind Batman, what you think of. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, his parents get killed, and then he grows up and... Uh, as this rich kid with Alfred that then wants to fight justice and has like this darkness to him. Um, what do you guys think? You want me to go first? Sure. I got one though. Uh, oh. hope you don't take mine. If not, I'll do another one. Yeah. Well, do it. Nothing says it's my another. Opinion. Well, for TV sake. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's see. Um, uh, I can go. You want me to go here? Yeah, you, you. I'm trying All to right, formulate so, my word. Well, so let's just let's just very quickly say, <laughs> Ben. I want like the wolf in the. I only want to be the one talking. Stone. I'm the only one that can talk. Uh, so, uh, uh, Adam West. Bitch. Adam West. Batman didn't tackle it. Two no. of the Christian Bales. Only the first Christian Bale did. Val Kilmer. Kind of references back. They did to the it. same thing that the Michael Keaton one does. Yeah, they just, just kind of touch it. They just kind of kept. Continued on top of the Michael Keaton origin story. But they didn't even show much of the Michael Keaton one. Right. It was barely touched upon. George Clooney didn't get it, and Batman... Uh, ben Affleck. Ben Affleck had a he, he like got, stylized intro credits version. So you're got, missing one. He got pretty much the, the Val Kilmer treatment. Sure. You're missing one, and I think it's the best one. Okay, go. It was a Batman movie, too. It's probably one of the best Batman movies if you re- rewatch it again. How do I know what it is? Mask of the Phantasm has one of the best origin stories a Batman told very emotionally. That's okay. Great. Say how not... good that one is, and then we'll talk about why these okay, other so ones. The actual my memory movies. isn't as fresh as it used to be, but the 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 way that they uh, portrayed the Batman Mask of the Phantasm's op- uh, origin story they 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 covered all that stuff, but it was everything after that. It was him as a uh, in college. Him him. Having this love interest in and learning like lost and the love interest turns out to be the the bad guy at the end. But gosh, I I I wish I would have watched this one fresh before I came. But I remember um, how they really tackled him year one. Like he was he was first starting to be Batman, but it's everything leading up to the emotion mm-hmm. of all of it, the death of his parents. Like it's like. A lot of them we see, okay, he, other than, other than the dark, other than Batman Begins, we see that, okay, his parents died, now he's Batman, you know? This one showed everything in between. You know what I mean? Ah. Everything in between. Mm-hmm. His parent dies, and it really developed well. Uh, the emotions for a cartoon are more palatable and more powerful than most movies. And it's because those writers who did the Batman animated series are unbelievable writers that should have been sure. writing movies. Yeah, they and directing movies. That's a legendary show. But the but the the movie I think has the, but and I, and it, it, it stinks because I can't go into detail because I don't have a fresh 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 memory on the mm-hmm. exact. That's, that's, that's what stinks. But I remember the the emotional pull it had. So of the I would say. So Aaron, Aaron, which of the origin stories that actually got to be played out? resonated the best with you because i have a clear I think cut I winner I yeah uh, you always fear what you don't understand <laughs> okay Here, here's how it goes i give a lot of points to uh the christian bale iteration for showing him like uh going out and seeing the world and and learning ninja stuff because that and that was one of my main things i liked about batman begins was he's, uh, he was actually doing ninja stuff that was cool mm-hmm and we got to see him learn stuff, and it was cool. I liked that. It was cool. But the one that resonated most with me was just one of the the opening of Batman v Superman. I, I liked that one the best in terms of just mm-hmm. getting the 
the emotion across. Yeah. Mm. I liked it. I, I would pick that one, but I so you chose pool. I was gonna say I really think this comes down to only two. And that's Michael the Michael Keaton version, which did uh, like whoever wrote the movie, I'm going to give Tim Burton credit just Everybody because he directed did. it. But <laughs> Everybody wrote that movie. Well, but like <laughs> the way they communicated his backstory, not they didn't start the movie with it. Like mm-hmm. that would be conventional. They started with Batman. Start the movie. Right. Which is so, great. So they did a great job of piecing together almost like, why is he Batman? Why? And like he goes and lays flowers down. He there's a news clipping of something that mm-hmm. happened, and then we actually get to see it, and then that plays through with and this we, fog. And we figure out through uh, Vicky Vale character. Like right. Vicky Vale is the audience of how we figure out who Batman. Right. So I liked the strategy of that. I didn't feel like those events necessarily played into um, his character mm. as well as the Christian Bale one. Uh, I disagree. I, I disagree. So where I will push back on. Ben Affleck one with Martha was that <laughs> Martha. <laughs> like we saw this. Scene. Why do you say Martha? We saw. <laughs> God, <laughs> I rewatched us like talking about that. I'm just, I'm just so angry. <laughs> Martha, <laughs> but, Martha, Martha. Like the whole, the like that whole scene. The whole intro is to set up that he is like a troubled person, and but specifically about his mom. But we barely get any information about his mom, and it's just sort of like you know, you get it, you get it, and then it's just like cool you, idea. You play out the movie like it. It looks really cool. Um, what I think the yeah. Christian Bale one, what Batman Begins does does better than any of these is that not only do we see how it informs him going off on his own and losing himself and wanting to train and all and like having this rage in him but we see like a relationship with his dad like where batman yeah you're right where ben affleck's right. batman is supposed to be about his relationship with his mom like we don't get any scenes with that yep. it's just it happened and what we're just nice supposed to, to assume whereas batman begins actually shows us like this this actual relationship and you actually feel for this kid and you see, you know, why do we get back up, Bruce? Cause here's the problem with yeah. all the origin stories so. I have with, and it's the same, either it was the opera and the other one, um, you know, in, in Batman uh, begins, but I think it's the movie theater and the other ones. I think the movie theater was the original origin origin story. Why are the richest people in Gotham going to like a crappy movie theater? You know, like you billionaires, you can build your own. Good point. <laughs> have, you you, know? have you heard of BitTorrent? Thomas Wayne was a man of the people, and he believed that they could be good. You're right, and they explain that in Batman Begins more. Yeah, because they wanted to be like the people. Are you, and are you? I was just doing an ass pull there. <laughs> yeah, that's well, ass pull. In addition to just telling the origin story, I think the emotions and the motivations and the darkness that we associate with Batman sometimes that was done the best in Batman begins with Christian Bale, because like our first instance with him is him like picking fights in a prison. And like, you get the sense that he's just angry at everything. And like, it's all based on fear and overcoming fear. Like all of that is packed into like, they basically say in Batman Begins that his parents died because he was afraid. Like when he when they're in the theater, yeah, they he is afra- more. He is afraid, and that's what makes them leave the theater. And so he feels guilt about it. Like so, the the underlying current to everything why Batman does everything he does. I think that was communicated the best with Christian Bale. They did, and I and I appreciate that because that was the direction of the whole movie. It's like, well, we told all the different stories of Batman. Let's tell about the underlying current, like you said. Yeah. However. <laughs> In um, the Batman, Batman, the first Batman movie, the subtlety I like more. Yeah, it's more powerful and, and more relatable to the audience. You know, for me, the feeling of it, like there's something more powerful about like the roses, the scenes like like that. You know, him having a flashback and. You know, you know I, I hadn't considered that that um, the showing Batman first and piecing it together thing. I appreciate it more because I did not consider that at first. Yes. Yeah. That I mean that definitely gives it bonus points and I think and the my- way they shot it too like just in this case Tim Burton's environment plays a lot into it goes hand in hand with the, the or like his origin almost like it's a dark world but then the 
the the the night when it happens is just this crazy fog mist and mm. like black night and it's just well it makes sense for him to be on the night yeah because he's a mili- like like is there something about in the shadows that mm-hmm. makes him yeah. scary when you ever see whenever you see Batman in the day it's the same thing that's like seeing the alien and alien covenant during that the day it's why like it's just I did like not just, like the dark night or yeah one of the reasons well they had like at that point like it was like Armageddon in Gotham so it was believable yeah in terms of that but Batman at night to the Dark Knight, he was never out in the uh, during the day. The Dark Knight Rises, he was. I'm pr- he was out in the day quite a bit. In Dark, Dark Knight? Knight Rises, yeah, but Dark because, because the arm again. Dark Knight, he was not. Yeah, he was Batman. There was a lot of shots in the day, is all I'm saying. Yeah, but that was fine. I didn't like it. Didn't like. It. All right, it stinks. I don't like it. Let's yeah. go. Let's go around quick. I I say Christian Bale here. What do you guys say? I say uh, I'm going to stick to my guns with the best origin story. Yeah, this one. Uh, I, I'm Who's your st- winner? I'm, I'm gonna stick to my guns. Batman, Master of the Phantasm, but a close second. You got to pick one of the the ones. That's no, not a legal Mas- move. Master of the Phantasm. Ma- Master of no, 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 that's out. No, that's that's no, an animated. It, no, that is. It, it's got to be one. Uh, Why? It's I, not a live okay, action portrayal. Fine. Live action. Fine. Batman. All right, Aaron. In light of all that's been said here, <laughs> I'm. Tempted- How can it can't be one? I don't understand you. Because uh, it's not one. Because it's not a live action. It's not one. Of, like, asshole. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a dick. <laughs> Come on, Aaron. We got an hour. I, I was. <laughs> Did I peek? Maybe I don't. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go! I'm, I'm tempted to be slow now, just to piss you off. Uh, I was thinking that maybe I might change my answer to 1989. After hearing all that has been said, even when I yell at him, he still loves me. Fuck. I didn't say that I love you. I said I hate you. All right, yeah, I that syndrome I'm called? more Stock, angry that you Stockholm syndrome. Stock I like. <laughs> I'm more angry that you guys disagree with me. So we're moving on. Go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, who's the best, Bruce Wayne? Ah, uh, this is actually. I think this will be really difficult because I had a lot yeah. of trouble. Because I, I'm already having trouble. Um, me too. Okay, I'll, 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 let, let, let me go. Yeah, you let go first. Go. Does everyone go? Then I'll go. Just because you're, yeah. you're saying I'm um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you sound like Jim Irsay from the Colts. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Um, <laughs> I I think uh, Christian Bale probably to me is a better Bruce Wayne than he is a Batman. Yes, and and, the, and I think it's because of the the script. The script was more about Bruce Wayne. Even though Batman was a part of it, I think it was more about Bruce Wayne's story. However, I feel that Mike, Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne is believable. Yeah, he was nice and, and weird and all. He was weird and quirky and it was believable that he would be... There's I mean, something weird, like, interesting about him that was weird. Billionaires act like that sometimes. Yeah, however, in the comics... Um, um, Christian Bale's character is more true to the comic book of this playboy billionaire, you know. But the Batman in the series, <laughs> Bruce Wayne is really good too, you know. Yeah. Like just in general, like the, like the way he the way he disguised himself is the same thing. Like to me, Bat. I think in terms of duality, I think the Batman in the series, even though it's not part of it, um, had the best Bruce Wayne because he, you can tell he was really Batman pretending to be. Bruce Wayne in in the Batman animated series, whereas Michael Keaton is more of a just he's a disturbed, goofball. and he's like weird in both areas. You know, mm-hmm. he, like it's not that much different between Batman and Bruce Wayne as Michael Keaton. Yeah, he still doesn't talk as much. Mm-hmm. And in Christian Bale's version, he's um, he seems like he has it all together as Bruce Wayne, like more so. Yeah, yeah, that's. Batman, ble- ble- to me, he ble- he's more believable as a billionaire than he is Batman. Yeah, okay. in, in in that one, Aaron. And who forget about? For, let's forget about uh, Ben Affleck. <laughs> I like well, Ben Affleck. Some people actually really like Ben Affleck. Yeah. as as specifically as Bruce Wayne. So, well, some, I don't know. some people I'm like holding uh, my... Brussels sprouts too. But yeah. <laughs> have you ever had Brussels sprouts cooked right? They're pretty good. Okay, there's my point right there. <laughs> Thank you. Man. So my favorite Bruce Wayne is. I wish you liked the other one. Ben Affleck. I don't like what I like. <laughs> Stop liking what I don't like. Stop it. You gotta help. Help me by not helping. I disagree. Let's have a one-hour podcast about Brussels sprout. 
You're Aaron right. Choice. Aaron, what were you going to say? Choice. Go ahead. Uh, the clear front runner for me as best Bruce Wayne is Adam West. <laughs> Adam West? Yeah. For Bruce Wayne? Yeah. Certainly not Batman. Explain, explain, explain. He is charming. He, yeah, he gave off the charming Playboy vibe that I that You I know, I actually so think he's right. Huh. I think he's... I never in a million years thought anyone... I, I could see you bringing up you Adam West for other things, but never for Bruce Wayne. I think you're I think you're on the set, Aaron. I think I, you're, I'm really smart. No, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try Brussels sprouts. <laughs> well done. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes. Got any yeah. Kool-Aid? Yeah. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> I'm a smart guy. All right, so explain why Adam smart West ass. is... <laughs> my ass went to college. Why is Adam West I the see, best I, Bruce I Wayne? I see his point. I see his point. I watched a lot of Adam West. I did, too. I wanna, so I'm basing this only on the one movie I saw. You only saw one movie? There was a lot of TV show too. He's a he he's a rich hobnobbing, wine drinking, womanizing dude. He's beautiful. Okay. All right. Yeah. He's actually a good looking guy. He he made sense. He's so dreamy. If you played the Boeing song. Oh, I need it. I need it. <laughs> there yeah. you go. He's um, so dreamy. You give me curious stirrings I... in my utility belt. <laughs> <laughs> give me holy the... boners, Batman. <laughs> um, <laughs> give me the Bruce Wayne propeller. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Give me the boner repellent. Yeah. Give me the bat, Bruce Wayne. Stop repellent. touching me, Batman! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just want to make love to you. Stop it, Kevin Spacey! Get away, Ben Affleck! Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I uh, oh, girl. I don't agree with you at all, but you're entitled to your, your I opinion. You. you asked me if I wanted to have a sure. show where we talk about Batman. Yeah. Uh, Hey, don't, don't. I will say, don't, uh, don't upset the guy who's pressing all the that's buttons. That's true. He's gonna like. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. He's gonna edit me out later, where it's like, I'm so stupid. I'm gonna kick the rest of Ben out. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> don't pay attention to the man behind um, the curtain. So Adam West Great has Scott. Bruce Wayne in the Batman movie. That was probably my least favorite part was when really? he was Bruce Wayne wow. because he uh, was just an idiot. Like, 60s. he just was really stupid. Yeah, but he did a really good job romancing Catwoman. But he played it stupid, right? Because like, he... That was the theme. It was. That's fine, but I'm not going to, like, if I'm trying to pick my favorite Batman, I'm not going to say my He's Bruce my Wayne should Bruce be an Wayne. idiot. Okay, my favorite Bruce Wayne is this. I'm going to say this. My favorite Bruce Wayne before... Master Phantasm? <laughs> Don Diego from Zorro. <laughs> Because this is it's the same. He, oh, the '40s Batman. TV no, Zorro? no, I'm talking about Zorro. Zorro, the real Batman. The the wood Batman. Oh, Zorro is the real Batman. So yeah. for our first two <laughs> options, Don Diego, your favorites, <laughs> your favorites from the best from Anthony Hopkins. No, no, I'm He's talking the best Batman. No, I'm talking about the old Disney serials. Oh, okay. <laughs> Those are good. Matt's right. having a good time. Do you even care about my Batman, you, Bruce Wayne? We should just move. <laughs> no, no best we, Bruce we, Wayne. We, we want to see it. Um, <clears throat> it's Christian Bale because he he was more dynamic. <laughs> no, he's not actually. Okay, it was Ben Affleck because he got nice nipples. He was also more dynamic. <laughs> so it was the immediate. Uh, the, I'm gonna the immediate, the immediate response <laughs> is um, Christian Bale just because he. Just because the script lended to it. No, well that, but also like he has that uncontrollable vibe of like, oh, this guy was an American Psycho. And he's preparing. He's playing a playboy rich guy role, like on purpose yeah, of practice. this. Like I'm doing this as a ruse to like confuse people, yeah. and, like all this stuff. And I'm getting vibes of American Psycho, and it like adds this unintentional depth to what he was doing. But even then, it I feel like he should get bonus points as as Bruce Wayne to be like I don't care about my name i don't care about any of this stuff like yeah. that that's a unique quality of the christian bale version but and i was really tempted really tempted to like i wanted to come here and be and give an, a controversial opinion and be like george clooney is the best bruce well, wayne he's just adam west 2.0 but he's just he never he's just george like, clooney he he played <laughs> yes yeah. he played it so differently than any other batman for bruce <laughs> wayne any other actor like he smiled more in two minutes of Batman and Robin than all of the other Batmans together. But like, you're right. He's just playing well, George Clooney. Like that's just George Clooney 
Val play Kilmer a normal played a person. Val Kilmer played a good. Yeah, Val he Kilmer, was my second choice. Val Kilmer, this is where I'm going. Val Kilmer is my second choice. I like Val Kilmer's Batman. I because he plays it so kind of like mysterious and aloof like and innocent playing it so straight he was like he was he was keaton without the goofiness he's innocent too. right he he has that like um it's ve- right. it's a very restrained performance with the backdrop of like within the script he's interacting with these dolls and a psychiatrist and not have it like the whole conversation of the whole movie with val kilmer is that there's this duality of yeah. black and white and so the f- I'm not going to give him bonus points for how he did the performance. I didn't think he, as an actor, did it very well. Which is but, odd uh, for him because Val Kilmer's great. He just actor. was so stoic and so kind of like, what exactly are you trying to convey here? <laughs> like, he showed no emotion so other Val than... Val yours? No. Oh. Mine is Michael <laughs> Keaton. That This is a long roundabout way to get to Michael Keaton, who I think exemplified... So you're talk about a lot of those <laughs> characteristics, he went to the disturbed level, like or not disturbed. Right. He never got to disturbed. I disagree with you guys there. I don't He's think he was ever disturbed. He was kind of quirky. he had a quirky personality, um, like where he just sets things down and Alfred has to pick him up and all this. Oh uh, yeah, like eating um, in a big long room. Like, but he yeah. acknowledge he That's he funny, did it yeah. all as. While he was Bruce was, Wayne, he did it all while acknowledging that he's the rich guy in the room, and there's this performance genuine. to it of like what a rich guy is supposed to act like. It was genuine. But then we get the scene of him at the long dinner table when he's on a date, and it's he um, charmed us by being like, I'm not a typical rich guy. I'm doing this for appearances. And when someone confronts me that sitting at a date at this long table, we can barely, barely hear each other. I, I hate this. I'm going to just break down and I admit, like, I'm putting on airs here. And so, oh, so I'm back. And that was a good story. To that, 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 that like, good. he played all of the, the the prototypical Bruce Wayne stuff as a rich guy where he's trying to, like, convince other people that right. he's a rich person and doing things. He still did the th- uh, in Batman Returns where it's like, I'm a ethical company man like i'm gonna like into how i run my company i don't want to get involved with bad people but i'm gonna put i'm gonna play this persona but in real life i'm still like a uh down to earth kind of human so you know michael keaton is my pick so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to agree with you matt but i think a close second is val kilmer now you when you brought up like no i think matt, michael keaton portrays it the best you know what I mean? but but val Kil- because you're right because that moment with, with him and vicky vale was like a really genuine wonderful moment of like believability you know like let's go in this yeah. room you know like it was it was like and then it got real with him you know what i mean what i think he just he didn't know what to do I'll like, just, he didn't know how to play rich right what i'll add to say that i forgot to mention that pushes him over the top is when he's confronted by jack nicholson yeah. joker and he goes you want to get nuts and he like freaks out it was that it, was that was that was that, that was along the same line as yeah. uh, 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 of uh, that's the scene of tom cruise jumping on the couch at <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oprah. but like he he delivered that i love <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with Katie Holmes. It was oh, true. Oh, yeah. that, and that was the end of her career. Oh, she was never the same. Never. She, um, tur- she turned out to be uh, what's her name from uh, like <laughs> her character changed to yeah. a different actress. So um, did we all make our we all made our picks well, for this, right? Val Kilmer's a close second, but you're right. Val Kilmer plays it real straight. Keaton, Keaton. What did Aaron? What did I you said say? West, Adam West. West. Oh, right. But yeah. I also that's respectable. Would, Val I, Kilmer is my also second choice. Okay, that's my second choice too. All right. I'm glad we're we're giving Val Kilmer and George Sh- Clooney some. Show me no, the salad. George Clooney was such a nothing. Performance. Yeah, he was just. He I was didn't just, hate it, but it's almost like he sh- didn't even do it. He was an in betweener. Like he was just like, you know what? I'm one cell of animation. <laughs> we'll get. We'll get. I think, <laughs> We'll get back they to George Clooney. on fives for him. That's All true. right, let's go to the one that everybody will uh, have an immediate opinion about. <laughs> best fighter. So okay. I say best fighter. I would have said just best Batman, but we're that's another best card fighter. later. So yeah. imagine him in his Batman suit. We're judging this as like action sequences. Him as the Batman character fighting crime, all his gadgets, all, all that, right. all that paraphernalia. So go. You want me to go? Yeah, sure. Um, you didn't even wait. <laughs> you want me to go? All right, no, I'm going. Hey, go, go, go. The, um... <laughs> oh, you, would you want to cut, cut the mat while I'm thinking? 
There we go. <laughs> Aren't they lovely? Aren't they beautiful? There you go. There you go. Hey, oh. yeah, all right. We should never have a green scope. screen. <laughs> That's the scope of my That's dancing. Look at my Batman. I like the. Oh, damn oh, it. Right. Skip. The, the, I don't know if that was the Riddler or what. Just like. It's like <laughs> Just like it lurking in the back. It wasn't the Riddler. I've watched that show many times. Bright green. <laughs> Whoa, right. Adam West. <laughs> Adam West. The, it's like I'm Thomas Sell. When we, when we, <laughs> get, <laughs> we, we, when we get to the best fighter segment, we start with Adam West. Okay, so. so <laughs> pa! I'm going to be very specific on the best fighter. All right, go. Although I love the Batman animated series, <laughs> <laughs> which. Utilizes his like his gadgets and things to the, the best, but get, but through the series they give you time to do that. From the categories that were to, <laughs> were given, I I actually think specifically the Dark Knight uh, Christian Bale is the best fighter because his suit, the way like the functionality of his suit in that, okay, uh, makes him more mobile. And it, it, it's more. Like, the they suit, even acknowledged that. Like, yeah, they, I need, it's I'm too bulky. I, I can't need, move my yeah, neck. Right. Yeah. That was always been a problem. Which was all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is sad because the the bat the Batman Begins suit is one of my favorite suits. Like, uh, yes. Actually, it's my least favorite. It's a lot. I actually like the Dark Knight suit better. Ew. I do. Gross. There's something about it. Even though I uh, I don't like realism, the realism I like the realism, but I hate the realism. I like to be taken away for things. I think the Dark Knight suit is a really good, well-designed suit. It's how a Batman suit would probably be if it was real. It was functional. I think the Dark Knight, out of all the Batman movies, is the most realistic in terms of if Batman was real, it'd be like this. But it, it's still like, oh, uh, that's kind of dumb. Mm. Like the whole uh, Blind Raider, I think, was stupid. I didn't like that that much. But yeah. but I think in terms of fighting, like just the movability... The fact that he, tr we showed him training in the League of Shadows and things like that. Dude, that's His a knowledge. big Trump card. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's Trump. It's huge. It's a huge. Batman. Christian Bale. He's great. He's beautiful. I nice know hands. several Batmans. They're all but, very good people. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's talking about the Batman. Batman will never recuse himself. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's talking. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, no beating that. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> I voted for him. Um, he's he's handsome. Um, <laughs> like the grad that. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, I think Christian Bale. Like that, that's it. Okay. I mean, Aaron, what do you think? I I have to pick Ben Affleck for this one. Those action sequences in BVS were They're good. awesome. They're good. It was brutal. It was brutal. Mm -hmm. And he's crawling Brute. on the walls and stuff in the beginning of the movie. You remember that? Uh, I tried to forget it. So <laughs> really cool. I am going to. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Batman anime series. I am going to agree that Ben Affleck is the best Woo! Batman Batman. Well, I got to give another try. <laughs> I'm, I am I convinced. So here's the thing. We're Not talking wrong, about. Misguided. We're talking about <laughs> investigating. Uh, his costume is the Frank Miller costume, which is my favorite iteration my favorite of Batman. My favorite Batman suit. You get the short you horns, Batman, and he's like kind of... It's, it's the Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight Returns. Returns, excuse me. Yeah. Yes. I, I um, love the fat man. <laughs> he even has it in there. The, uh, I will say the one thing... So this was to me, this was between Christian Bale and... Ben Affleck, obviously. And Christian Bale obviously has that that up on uh, everybody else with the training. Christian yeah. Bale's got, like, the depth to his fighter experience, like the Samurai Jack training, like, stuff that just yeah. makes you love, like, oh, we see your background in fighting. Like, it makes you really cool. I really like appreciated that. But Appreciate once you get to actual fight sequences, and this is where Snack... Snack, snack Pack. <laughs> snack Snyder. <laughs> snack, snack Pack Snyder. That's, that's an Fruit amazing roll up Snyder. <laughs> snack, snack Snyder. Snack Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it is. Whoa, whoa, snack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what is, what's the joke? <laughs> <laughs> What's the joke you do with that voice? <laughs> what do you what? Do you, what? <laughs> what do you do? Like, is it, was it South Park or whatever? Like, you like? Z <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it, Aaron just did it. What was it? Yeah, Zack Snyder <laughs> is, is a stapler. No, but there's this, there, 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 uh, <laughs> there's, there's another character you do with that voice. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, like yeah, Snyder. It. It'll have no. to come up. It'll have to come up <laughs> organically. I'll figure it um, out. Christian Bale. Um, 
<laughs> the thing when he Zack Snyder has the one up because just the way he films action sequences is just infinitely better than any Batman iteration before now. I well, I liked the what, Christian Bale action sequences. No, no, those were they're oh, terrible. And at, right, that's no, what they, I'm getting. No, no, I'm saying that you get these like whiffs and like well, just like the I'm, minions don't shoot their guns; they just kind of stand there. Well, very, it's, and, it's the Michael Bay way of uh, right. choreographing. Now, yeah. the only thing good, the only the only good action sequence in that whole in all of the of the Dark Knight sequences is the uh, Joker chase. That's it. Like you can see more what's going on, but in terms of fighting, it's like we're gonna go tight and you know like not figure out the choreography. Now, yeah. I agree with you, the choreography. Is better in the uh, uh, the Justice League, you know, universe yeah. with Ben Affleck because you're like, let's pull back, pull back. Let's, let's actually show what's going on. Let's yeah, crashing tiger, hidden dragon shit. Well, and they fake, but, they don't cut it as much too. That which no. is the Michael Bay thing. But Zack Snyder actually takes the time, and, and to whether it's it. through effects or uh, like Just stapling together different shots that make it look like almost a long shot mm-hmm. or like the takes are longer. Um, that adds and like the where the the, every, the scene everybody remembers is the warehouse scene from mm-hmm. yeah the first uh, time I saw that I was like oh damn yeah, and several he, like, times boosh yeah. through the wall and grabs the guy like it, I don't even think it's compared like this is uh, this was almost the easiest question for me of the Same. five we're gonna do is the Ben Affleck version is of Batman is the best now the one thing I will call out that Christian Bale has the one up on. It's not the costume. At first, I was going to say the vehicles. Um, actually, it's cl- the vehicles I would give Christian Bale. Like, what? his... his. I love the, the like... The tumbler. No. The tumbler and the motorcycle. I actually love that stuff. I it, like you're the, shaking your head. I like the Batmobile, but the, the motorcycle? Stupid. I like the motorcycle. Can we, can, can we do a... This is not part of the category. Sure. Real quick, can we do a subcategory? What's the best Batmobile? In your opinion, Batmobile. Go, go, go. go. Christian Bale, uh, uh, Michael Keaton. It's the best Batmobile. I like that, not, not because of functionality, just because of the iconic. I will say that's second. Oh, you're stupid. So uh, I have an in between <laughs> answer. Uh, the Ben Affleck Batmobile. It's a mix of the two. That's why I will not give it number one. Is because it hedged its bets. Like it's mm-hmm. not unique in any it way. It did the right thing. I uh, I think. It's all right. Bad. So best <laughs> fighter. Like, what do you think of the best fighter? Um, so. Well, I think Christian Bale had like if we're factoring in how they use gadgets, I think Christian Bale Batman had like weird tech crap that yeah. just excused everything. I will say I Grounded think in reality. Christian Bale had the best Batcave. Uh, Michael Keaton's no. Batcave was pretty cool. Michael Keaton's Batman Cave Batcave was pretty cool. Interesting. And so was my so was Val Kilmer's Batcave. Yeah, I was about to say that. Val Kilmer's I love Batcave that was one. pretty it's, cool. It's too. like he's a little more it's, it's, it's like uh, renovated it. He had a little more money, you know, like like there's more to it. It's what it. I would do. Yeah. Make I it like homey. the functionality the there, of all the like more railings, practical- there's the cliffs. There's a lot of cliffs. <laughs> of all the practicality <laughs> he's aspects. Driving straight, it's like, dude, you're gonna fall off the car. <laughs> One bad move, you're no more bad. <laughs> you know? Do this every play. night. Don't do it. Yeah. Well, I could be Batman. <laughs> well, I can drive this car. <laughs> Turn the light on. <laughs> uh, fuck you, Vicky Bell. <laughs> I'm going to visit you at night. <laughs> <laughs> so like, this is my point. This is my whole all right, point. All right. This is where I was leading to. I still think I'm still voting for Ben Affleck for this category, but I have to, I ha, I was ta- we were talking about this before the podcast. I have to call out if we're talking about the Batman as Batman in the costume in the suit, everything about him like fighting crime as Batman. I feel like there's a negative perception of the Christian Bale voice. Yeah, because it stinks. Which well, it got, worse, it got worse than the second one. Hold on, it did not. There was no none of the previous Batman characters did a voice. Not much of one. Well, either. but none of them did one. They, they didn't. But here's the thing: Michael Keaton didn't talk much as Batman. That was the way it was written. Right. Like, yeah, he did, did a few things, and that was more believable. Yes. and that's not Christian Bale's fault. No, no, no. Because say what you want, then I'm going to rebuttal. So, the Batman voice came out of like how like an obvious like the Christopher Nolan practicality argument which is gets to why his bat cave is like literally uh a cave <laughs> with a waterfall um but 
okay, Christian Bale, you got to do this voice that everyone remembers. It is like this, and it's so outrageous. What are you doing? Uh, Keep and going, man. Like it's, it comes from a mindset of like Drugs. everyone will Operation. recognize. Everyone will recognize you. You're doing the your exact same speaking voice, which everyone. Everyone in previous iterations calls out. So he does this voice, and it's obviously terrible. It's amazing. And everyone, Don't embarrass me in this hotel. <laughs> I'm pretty famous. I'm good. Um, I'm a rich producer. Yeah. So <laughs> 30 does, seconds. Come on. He does this voice. It's so obviously <laughs> bad. Like Peter Smith. <laughs> it's so obviously bad. But what has happened is that I want to give it. It is tipped over from. This ruins the the Christopher Nolan Batman movies too. This is a meme now. This is like the when everyone when anyone talks about Batman, we all go to this voice we do. because it's iconic now. Because it is. This is the Batman voice. Because and so I'm going to give be. him credit for coming. Like for something so bad. It is so bad that it's amazing and it's why iconic do you think I like now. Dark Knight well, Rises. <laughs> Okay. So that's and to that like that's why a lot of things about Adam West Batman are so like oh I love that about that Batman version like we got to give him credit. Can I, so we, we do. And I'm gonna I'm gonna add on to your point and I'm gonna also re, like defend defend. Okay, go. Go. Completely disagree. Re, real quick here. All right. So okay. So so in the first one we didn't really mimic it as much. It was it was a little, it was a little much. But then he didn't have like long monologues. He said a few things in yeah. the first one. In the first one, uh, Batman, was Batman begins. Yeah. The Dark Knight. They altered it more, like they digitally. Like they went and like they went and did. Yeah, some they post, tweaked it a little. They bit. tweaked some more. They posted it, and then he had that long monologue at the very end of Dark Knight. The city just <laughs> showed you that it's full. He's always out of, of breath. People <laughs> ready to believe in God. And I laughed so hard in the theater when I watched that the first time. But that was a bad <laughs> line. Catch your breath, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I got the better one. What was it? The, what, how did we say it? It was like, so Batman, you came to see your city fall. And then he's like, no, I came here to beat you up and stop you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was it. I laughed so hard. I laughed so hard. It was like, me too. no, I'm here to stop you. And that's not Christian. <laughs> that was it. That's not Christian Bale's fault. That's not his fault. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's a line. It shouldn't be a line. This is what this should happen. Like, so, <laughs> that's what would happen. It's like he's not gonna say, "Fuck you, Bane." Like, like, like that's what should happen. I'm like, "Fuck you, you're going down, no Doyle." Like, <laughs> like a feeling. That's a bad line. If I was, if I was yes, it was a bad line. But right, delivery uh, is almost next, everything. Uh, yeah. They did. Shoot it. I, if they did a voice modulation in the third one, I did not notice. I they watched probably, this last night. Well, it, I, it sounded like it was his normal voice. What, what I think happened is I think they they heard they the scaled it back. They yeah. scaled it back. No, yeah. I, I, I did. Okay. No, I think people comment on the first. Anyway, so I, I agree. There was a meme. Uh, so while I think that Ben Affleck's voice, like I overall, I think Ben Affleck. As Batman the, is the best. Their modulator is better. The yeah, modulator like is better. Objectively, it's better. But didn't the flash for? But it is still like show. a. Yeah. It is still uh, a like. Not a meme. Is it, is that influenced the, from the Christian Bale version, and it, it is just like the, it's the car. It's forgettable. It is just like we are trying it. to improve on something that everyone I else have. is instinctively going to go back to. I don't remember Ben, ben Affleck's voice it sound sounds like, like what the Christian Bale voice should have sounded like. You know what? He sounds like a monster. Put some pants on. It's like your <laughs> voice modulator. Stand up, Joe, the audience. Um, it is deep pain. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like auto tuned. It's yeah. like auto tuned. It's not auto tuned. It is true. It's, it's auto tuned. No, it's not. <laughs> and then, okay. Susan, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an audio engineer. You don't know what auto tuning is. Of course I do. I love how you said it. I love how you said it. We- <laughs> you he makes an appearance. You just now noticed the CIA. I, I, I was chuckling before. If anyone watches this uh, back, you'll see, like, uh, hear me laughing for whatever, no reason at all, other than I noticed that you put in a yeah. Mayor Kirketti in we're the background. We're crashing this podcast with no survivors. Yeah. So, 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 if we're on voices real quick, I know we're going to do right, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Uh, let's talk about the Bane voice. Let's talk about the Bane voice. There's nothing to do with everything. Uh, it's iconic. So, it's, it's very iconic. But the problem is, it's omnipresent. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, mixed. Like, it's every. It's everywhere. I went yeah. back and watched that plane scene over again twice this morning. 
Um, it's omnipresent. It's like it everywhere. was mixed so loud compared to everything else. What's well, you know, Dolby Surround? Do you know why? Because they're stupid. Well, you know, <laughs> not, no, not because they're stupid. Because okay, this is this is true. When the first when they did the plane <laughs> sequence for the first time, if you could find it online, they showed that the original audio recording of him. Yeah, and they did it realistically. If this guy was not because the Christopher Paul that's my problem. Exactly, it's not yeah. like that. That's my problem with Chris, uh, with Christopher Nolan movies is he does it so realistically. It's like oh, I I can't hear it. I can't understand. Like um, the, the the space one. Uh, Interstellar. Uh, Interstellar. Like some of the dialogue when they were taken off and stuff, I couldn't hear, it, which is cool because you give the ambience. But like I couldn't laugh at the jokes. But 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 the first uh, the biggest complaint when they followed the first preview was uh, they couldn't understand Tom Hardy because they did it so realistic of yeah. what was happening. They couldn't understand it. So he went back and re-recorded his lines. Obviously, it doesn't matter because he's wearing a thing, and they made it more omnipresent. And I think that's why you have a big complaint about it because the well, studio no, pushed I, back on it's it. Not, it's not that it sounds the way it sounds. It's that it's just too loud. Yeah. yeah it and it, it they, sounds they, like the voice of God rather than... Uh, it was cool, but it's like... like contextual. Turn it down either. by like three but decibels. People have ADR'd stuff. You could you could have just done the ADR much better. You could have so someone else do but, the voice. But, the, the, but the, the, the thing is, they they probably had it better. But the problem, is, I think, the studio pressure probably yeah. like one of Maybe Robertson, you the, might be right about. No, that. I, I am one hundred percent right about that. <laughs> 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 um, but you know what? You know, you know they should have had. They should have had what's his name from Star Wars do it because Darth Vader sounds. Amazing. I was about to say. I was about to go right there. Yes, Darth Vader. End of conversation. Exactly. He's, like he's there, but he's still like menacing. End of conversation. Go. All right. Next one. Best best pals. Best pals. Best pals. This is yeah. This was a terrible. Uh, <laughs> You're really reaching for a sixth category, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is only number four. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. Um, you were you were at five, and you're like, what no. Are the so pals. <laughs> I was gonna call this uh, like best. This is this category is more about how you interact with the standard Batman characters. So when it comes to Alfred, when it comes to Gordon. If Robin, uh, all the other like love interest characters, when it comes to all of them, how does this Batman interact with like how you perceive like? So yeah, how may, important they so are this is like a great important. Alfred character. But when it comes to Batman, what your vision of how Batman interacts with Alfred, how Batman would interact with Robin, like those those kinds of conversations. So um, the downside is that so you go first. Gor- on this one. So Gordon, Alfred. Those are the two s- staples in all of them. Yeah. Uh, Robin is kind of unique to certain movies. Two. The Schumacher verse. Schumacher and at ba- the end of and Batman, Batman Rises. Batman Rises. series. Uh, <laughs> Batman Rises. I can't believe you couldn't put that in there. Because uh, it's not a movie. Well, the, It's not a live action the movie. The Phantom of the... You st- I did a whole... Not- if it's not real, we're not going to do it. <laughs> You're talking to the guy who did an entire, like, almost two-hour podcast about how much I love animation. I so, <laughs> to Believe me, I wish we could... I wish I would have thought of that. There's honestly, already a lot to now. choose from. Um, so, for best pals... <laughs> this is the stupidest headline. Under your thumb. Uh, I'm going to... This is one I don't have, and I'm open to like the conversation. <laughs> Where I will go is say that Val Kilmer set up as the the start. Like Val Kilmer should have been the best because he had the opportunity of the best Alfred. You think that's the best Alfred? I love Michael Caine, but I think Master Proof. Schumacher, I, I don't know his name. The Schumacher got, Burton got Alfred. Face, yeah, the one, the, the guy, the guy from Van Helsing, to, uh, or the the guy who, who's in uh, the Dracula. Yeah, he was the best Alfred, and I think the George. Yeah, this is fun. one where I think George Clooney gets major points. Is that he he had the the deepest connection with the Alfred character. Yeah. In terms of this yeah. is family, I care about saving his he life. I more. care about yeah. He played the George Clooney version. He played it like he played it more Alfred than anybody else. Yes, and I also think that in terms of the Batman character, he had a a connection beyond fighting crime. Like I want to help the people in my life that I know. He was most helpful in Return the Batman Returns. Yeah, as a helpful character. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't about like who's the best out. Al- like we can the talk rela- about the that. Relationship between Batman. I'm and talking about Batman. like who's the best Batman that interacted with the characters we all know. Okay. So, um, 
I the problem though is that George Clooney, the George Clooney Batman's relationship with Robin was the stupidest. So like, I don't really know where to go from we here. Can just say that, that we're, no one's going to pick Clooney. Yeah, yeah I, I'm trying. I'm trying. No, Clooney I'm trying won't so pick hard Clooney. to make right, it. Like, don't, don't, don't feel bad. Like, Clooney you know what Clooney would terrible. say? It's a paycheck. Honestly, the best relationship between Batman and Robin is Adam West. Like that's the best one. Yeah. Like the one in Dark Knight Rises is so stupid. Like, and who is this guy? This yes, yeah, but it, it, the Adam yeah. West uh, Batman, the Alfred is almost a non-character. Yeah, I don't even remember what Alfred looks like. Yeah. Is there an Alfred? I think, I think he's, he's just I, so not there. Did he like play like three different actors or something like that? I don't know. Oh, yeah. They had two well, Catwomans. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, yeah, they had several Catwomans. I will uh, tell you right now what my answer is. Do you want my answer? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Kilmer. That is my answer. Hmm. Hmm. All right, now your turn. I gotta think about this. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't have to think about it at all. Hmm. This is a dumb. Why do you? Why <laughs> so? Get, why do you say Val Kilmer? Say what you must. Because we got uh, we got the good Robin character interaction. That yes. was cool. Uh-huh. And and they had simultaneously the best Alfred, and they have a good relationship with him. They have a back and forth. It's uh-huh. so fun. And uh, Chase Meridian. Remember her? I try to forget. Oh. She was a horn dog. She was a horn dog. She the was whole like, movie. I love you, Batman. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right Matt now. Robert Nipples. Batman Forever is my be- my favorite Batman movie. It's not a bad movie. I like it a lot. Actually. You know, it might be better than Batman Returns. It might. be. Of course it is. But I, I just don't like Nicole Kidman in that movie. <laughs> That she's a one knock. She does like a very bad English or very bad American accent, and sh- her character is terrible. Like. Just yeah, it's horrible. Just, it's like horny, that scene horny, horny. when Batman jumps into the the Batmobile from the rooftop and he's just like, "Women." <laughs> that's uh, the fr- you, you talked about Batman smiling. That's the first time Batman smiled in any movie, like, like in the most creepy possible I know. I, way. I'm gonna get it that. Picture. I shared that yesterday. I was like, "Tomorrow, I'm gonna get that picture." Yeah, please do. <laughs> <laughs> please get it. <laughs> but, but, but it was, but it, but it actually made sense to the story because I love Bruce Wayne. Because she's a, she, they play how upset she was at Batman, but she really loves Bruce Wayne. He's like. Oh, good drive through. Do your best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do your gotta, best uh, I, smiley impression. I got to get a. Uh, big yeah, he's. As he gets, uh, so the one thing I'll push back on Val Kilmer, <laughs> and I'm not saying you're wrong, is that there it is. the Val Kilmer Batman had the. And in association, <laughs> the Schumacher and Burton Batmans had the worst Jim Gordon imaginable. The Look worst that picture. Gordon. That's amazing. How could you hate that face? <laughs> Ready? 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 You're on camera. No, I went. I went full frame. You get what you get. You get you, fair. It's perfect. No, that's bad. Come on. No, that's terrible. <laughs> Do oh, better. Just smile harder. You'll get it. <laughs> smile better, better Ben. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. You looked angry. Well, because he's always got a mean scowl with a smile. That's that's the. All right, show the it picture. It was more like this. It was more like this. Hold on. Here we go. Woo! Handsome man. He didn't have the eyes. He didn't have the eyes. Take your glasses off. Give me your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. Right. Right. It's been very right. self Ben, what was your, what was your the best Batman smile? Best Without camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your best in terms of okay, like I, how they interact with other people? I, 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 you know, I, I love the Val Kimmer one too. I love the Michael Keaton one as well. Batman anime series is the best because they have more time to spend with it because mm-hmm. Bat, they find out Alfred actually. This was is the, the ultimate argument between TV and movies. They, honestly. they, they do. Yeah, well, the, Bat, can, the Alfred and Batman yeah. in that one and, and Robin, especially too, the, the, one of the best Robin origin stories ever, you know, like in, in that one. Uh, but the, the Alfred in the anime series one, like we find out he's a, he used to be an espionage spy. And he had such a character depth, like too. Like there was some yeah. cool stuff, but he was holding a ruby. The he was. He was very good. And like they really deviate. That's the thing about series compared to movies. You can do that shit. But I have to say the best one in terms of the categories given. Even though I love most of them, except for Jeremy Irons, he's kind of there. I liked him. He was alright. We just had and I love Jeremy time. Irons. Yeah, it's just like he's done. He just, he just doesn't he have doesn't that count yet because we've only seen a little bit. <laughs> I, I think the Christian Bale Batman because I think him and Alfred's relationship is really good because it's, it's more pronounced because Alfred is always present. Alfred is very important. Him as Lu- and Lucius Lucius uh, Lucius uh, Fox Fox is, is 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 a good one too. Hound. Um, Go ahead. 
his relationship, his relationships, his Metal relationship. With the, here? I think with the, with those two characters, especially those the relationship and in in, in, in the Commissioner Gordon, I think are very good because they make because of the way that those movies were designed, they make those characters as just as important as bad of of of, of consequences because Batman can't That's do very it alone. true. That's very Batman true. Can't do it alone. He can't like, do it alone. He can't. I love the Commissioner Gordon and the uh, you know the the Gary. Timber- Tim Burton verse, but he's yeah, I so hate that. Gordon. Oh come on, I he's fun. I like, that, that, I like the Gordon. actor. I like, but like they play it very. He's like a bumbling. He's bumbling. Kinda, I yeah. hate that. He doesn't do anything. I hate that Gordon. No, God, come down. I hate him. You know who I you don't like? like is Gordon. Trump. You know who I don't like is Gordon Gary Oldman, and I always love him. Ooh, I love Gary. Oldman. I don't think he's the best, but I think his interaction is 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 good. Like, mm. I think how necessary they are because he. Cause I, I, but I do love Lucius Malfoy. Uh, Lucius Malfoy. <laughs> Your wizard, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Hold on, I got a face for that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speaking of magic wands, um. <laughs> but L- Lucius Fox is. His relationship and him are my favorite parts about it. Of, of that. So I think Christian Bale. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my controversial George Clooney opinion. Yeah, but that one's almost the same as Val Kilmer. Uh, just lesser. No, grade. no. <laughs> the story it 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 almost comes back He's to the story the and the how it. I mean, the, they ruin their rela- his relationship with Robin in that one. That's true, and he, and he has a, they have a throwaway model that he's in love with. I don't. Yeah, know. that was be- that. That's the real negative of the George Clooney is the is the Robin relationship. But he's I will say, the Alfred does balance it out. The Alfred family theme because he's dying. I'm <laughs> Alfred's I, dying. I'm such a sucker for that kind of crap. Like. If you mention that's why I love Guardians of the Galaxy two so much is if you talk about like surrogate family stuff like I'm in like I'm just there like uh, we uh, immediately family not yet number five <laughs> 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 so uh, challenge think of this as lump in villains lump in the pit Dark Knight Rises lump in uh, we got other it. yeah you got it all right yeah you don't need, we got it you don't need a lot of explanation yeah. um. So, try to, I will say, try to avoid easy, like, I don't need to tell Aaron this. I probably don't need to tell Ben this. Tell us anyway. Um, say what you want. Try to avoid the easy button of, the Joker's the best. The Joker, Heath Ledger Joker is amazing. So, well, why, this I'm is done. automatic. <laughs> uh, but if you have, like, a, a solid argument, like, think of it, though, as how that villain, how that challenge reflects back on the character, though. That's the main point. Well, you go first, and then we'll lead by example. Or then you'll lead by example. Me first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, All right. Then I'll go. So, this is actually tough. Then I'll go first. Because I... <laughs> uh, Adam West's challenges are that he has, like, a bomb that is a threat yeah, that bad. never explodes. Yeah, it's just a bomb. That was also Christian Bale's problem, that's too. The best. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> that's the best. Sometimes it's hard to get rid of a bomb. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> I don't want to kill the ducks. The, the, the nuns. The nuns. The, the marching man. The oh, children. That is such Why a good so scene. Stupid. It's so good. It's, it's so, so good. I love that I scene. Missed that. Um, it's the first some bedroom. days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Val Kilmer had, so because you're letting me talk, I'm going to talk through them all. Val Kilmer's Batman, his challenge was more psychological and internal. Yeah. yeah. Um, which has its own benefits. The yeah. actual challenge of stopping uh, Two-Face, Two-Face was a nothing character. Nothing. It was just a mob he, boss, basically. Wait, in that one? Yeah. Um, he was at least threatening, though. He was entertaining and... Violent, but and as a scenery, he chewed it up. Yeah, yeah. Jim Carrey was actually the more interesting version of a villain, like at a big picture. Like I'm basically a, a stand-in for TV and internet and sucking your we also brain waves. The but like original it, Riddler from the Madam West, right? He's just that. another Joker. <laughs> but right, and so, but like what they were like sucking people's brain waves never like cool. made them more dangerous yeah. like we never saw this like because i did this i am now more dangerous it was just like this is something that is happening 
I'm going to go stop them. So Val Kilmer's out. George Clooney is out. <laughs> like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Arnold's plot to defeat all Gotham? Mattered. None of that mattered. None that of was a huge There's challenge. There's no challenge there. <laughs> we have heat things. That's it. Like, and, and Penguin's plot to destroy Gotham City with... Uh, with penguins? <laughs> ben Affleck, you could go listen to our talk about the whole Batman thing. The the uh, Batman element of Batman v Superman where it was that's just a big like... That's challenge. Let's taking fight down Superman. Superman and, that's and a, taking down Doomsday. If we're going to go there, I think that's Look, a big challenge, I my will, friend. I will just say, listen to what I said then. J- let me finish my thought and you can defend okay, it, okay? Okay, George. Get on with yeah, it. All right. Um, <laughs> Michael Keaton had... Uh, Sorry. And interesting because they related back the villain to his own personal past with the Joker. Like that added another layer to it. And then all of the the stuff with the peng like it was it went into Adam Adam West campiness. So it was like a different level. But I feel like he was more I need to stop this guy because he is bad and that's it. But he the the power with the Michael Keaton character is that is with the Joker only. And that's because he basically created the Joker and the Joker influenced why he is Batman. And that is a g- amazing like that's linkage. A and take. It is. To like uh, to bring back the like if Michael if Tim Burton had decided to continue, I would have loved to for whatever reason Joker is still alive to see that come yeah. back. Because that um relationship between the two is so powerful. But reluctantly, I'm going to say Christian Bale's Batman is my number one. Not because of the Joker as a villain. He had I to actually, get back from the Middle East in like 30 hours. The jo- <laughs> No, that's, yeah, that's a dark fair enough. Rises. The it's Joker Christian is... Christian Bale. Oh. The Joker is the best villain, but I actually think that is the worst movie when it comes to Batman overcoming challenge. a challenge. Because it's easy to kill him. Right. And so he's like he's like he's He does get hurt easy. Yeah. And it's all about like I don't want to be the symbol. It should be the this guy is the symbol yeah. and like it all none of the rest of that I actually agree 100% with you Aaron with the Dark Knight is that it's just about the Joker but everything else is kind of bad. Um but what what I will give it credit right. for is the Batman Begins into the Dark Knight Rises is we see a vulnerability that we don't see in any other movie of like Batman getting hurt. He gets beaten and up. He gets he's torn broken. Up. And he's a Timothy like, Dalton, James Bond. Yeah, he's yeah. just like constantly getting seeing our his development to build like. And that was to, good because it introduced some actual stakes. Right. Yeah. So I've oh, talked about you stakes. guys. Go ahead. You guys talk now. <laughs> With a lot of butter. Aaron, so continue. What what would be your best in terms of this category? Will you laugh at me if I say Adam West? No. <laughs> okay, because he had to get out his science kit with the test tubes and stuff and rehydrate that was those so boys. so fucking stupid. <laughs> that, I'm not going to make fun of you, but it was really stupid. hard to do, you and know. But what about all the specs? <laughs> there's, there's some, there's some like, grains of people missing. Yeah, yeah well, you he, know? he, he, like, he like, accounted like, for that. My peaky finger is gone. He's oh. the greatest scientist, okay? <laughs> Give me the bat rehydrating. Do you remember system. that he wore, like, a, a medical mask over the Batman <laughs> Yeah, that was and then, didn't he have like a lab? But like, like, yeah, he had a little smock on. I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was Robin, the bat smock. That's more the, the scientist on him, you know, the detective. You know, you yeah. know. <laughs> Holy uh, eyewash station, Batman. Um, Holy pixie sticks. <laughs> <laughs> it like all right, Holy all right. 90s sand art, Batman. I'm going to go ahead and, and retract my joke. No! Answer. I just wanted to get the joke answer all out. All right, all right. <laughs> it's, um, I don't think it's fair when when Ben Affleck is in, included in this because he had to deal with, like, God stuff. So I, I almost would just kick him out of this category. Well, you know, I'm thinking about Yeah, I guess in my little rambling recap, I didn't even mention it. Because at that point, it's just power escalation. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Took down Doomsday, whatever. Yeah. I. Mm-hmm. So I, my real answer is probably Christian Bale, because he had to, like, diffuse the whole situation with Bane through the whole city. And I, I, I begrudgingly choose Christian Bale. Hmm. Okay, Ben. So, the Batman Begins challenge was a pretty good challenge, I thought. Yeah. I thought out of all the Christian Bale one, like Bane's is a good one too. 
But the Batman Begins challenge of him trying to defeat Ra's al Ghul and and like that was all more the, satisfying. But it, because it, well, well, I'm getting there. Stop! You Good. you had your podium. Um. <laughs> Was, it, was, was pretty good because he's facing fighters equal as him. You know, the, the same and they're way. not mooks for once. They're not mooks. They're trained. They're not. They're not the foot soldiers and Ninja Turtles. Can't see it. But anyway, anyways, but um, Ben's wearing a Ninja Turtle ben, shirt. Yeah, green. It's green. But um, and uh, you know, trying to stop the train from the high. You know, there was there was that a big was challenge, cool. and everybody's all to- intoxicated and stuff with. With the that the, really was one of the best. That was a really apps. good. And the fear gas relates back yeah. to the overall movie arc. Yeah, yeah. I think that was more. T- that was tougher than beating up the Joker. You know, like who was actually probably an easy vil- easier villain, but he was a more interesting villain. But I, I actually had to, to go with the uh, the uh, fighting a god. <laughs> you know, like, that's the easy answer. I, but you know what? It's the obvious fighting answer. Fighting a god, Superman. Fight Superman. He took Superman you down. You gotta take Superman down, and that's based more. He on was the, the first to make Superman bleed. Yeah, you know, that's that's more in the Dark Knight Returns, you know, like plot line. Okay, I think, and that gives it more I flavor. Agree. Have yeah, you yeah. read the Dark Knight I Returns, s- Matt? It's really good. Yeah, he has to fight Superman. The Frank Miller stuff. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that sequence is. I love that. The book, the book is amazing. Oh, yeah. I. Mm. No, but yeah, you're right. But I'm just, I'm just talking how about the movie version. I'm just talking about the actual out. challenge. In terms of what he has to do, to yeah, figure it's, out how to the beat answer's Superman, obvious. Superman, like, that's the toughest challenge you're ever going to face as a hero. But, but I'm just saying that in just terms of, I'm not saying they didn't execute it good. I'm not saying it's the best execution. I'm just saying, like, with the fight or? The fight. Yeah, okay. the fight was terrible. I would say my biggest problem with the execution with that is that the Batman reason they are fighting each other is because of like bad press clippings and like bullshit? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Escalation of, but I'm not, but I'm not like de- why they're fighting. Like he's it's not so debating stupid. the why. No, I'm he's not debating, debating the why. I'm debating like the challenge of just trying to defeat a god. Okay, you're just, just the, reading it off the page. Yeah, 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 the actual page. Right. Right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. Okay. I, I thought yeah, like I mean, okay. there's no reason for right. the fight. Yeah, yeah. And also like I, you know, I read the the, the comic and it's like. That's always in the back of your mind, yeah, the too. Frank Miller, yeah. It probably lo- looks at, makes it looks at, looks at it with golden sure. uh, glasses, too, a little bit. But, but like, just the actual challenge of cut. trying to fight Superman. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even Kryptonite can't stop him. Kryptonite. Um, they did make okay. it too easy for him to beat him, though, I, I thought. Because, see, like, if, if you watch the first... Here's my complaint about that, and, I, and but, I, but I'm still going to stick with my guns. If you watch the first... Uh, uh, Superman, uh, uh, Man of Steel movie, they are like Dragon Ball Z and the shit out of that city. Like, they're like fighting, like, they're punching a guy, and the guy's like, when he's fighting with Superman, it's like, it's not going anywhere. He was anywhere. weakened by the kryptonite. You're right, but it's like fighting, it's like, the, the, he's not, he was punching. still very small, strong. <laughs> he, w- he was strong, but it wasn't like sh- fighting, was, him, punching through buildings and stuff. Uh, yeah. So what? I, I I get it. It just it, it didn't like it, it worked. Even the playing field. It even the playing field, but didn't have the same like whoa, God's fighting. To me, it's to me that's not Batman. That this is like the Marvelization of like team ups and yeah. like these dumb pairings. Like we can't create interesting villains, so we're just gonna have our heroes fight each other for bullshit reasons. And I think that. That's why I will never pick Ben Aff- like the Ben Affleck yeah. Batman as my favorite is because everything seems bullshit for the sake of like trying to compete with the Marvel money machine. So that's why I gravitate towards uh, the Christian Bale Batman. Like it's it has g- great performances, but like Christopher Nolan obviously built in an overall narrative to it of like what motivates Batman at all Agreed. times. And, and so that's why I am always You're right. interested. You're it's always it's always simultaneously the villain and psychological. And that's why I will give it to him. And, and, and I think it's a good choice. Un- honorable mention, Batman animated series. There's so much detective work. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah that, There's that, so that, much that, they actually use the detective it's part. It's amazing. Of them, and they do like they go into the detective part. And <laughs> if that's the so- the problem solving, the, the Sherlock Holmes of it is more interesting uh, challenge than anything. This is, this is a pure physical challenge. Yeah, but I'm still going to stick with my guns. The category uh, okay. chosen with with uh, Batman for V Superman. All right, any boy. Moment of truth. Boom. Best Batman. We got to pick. 
which is unfortunate that I went sequentially, sequentially and have the Ben Affleck Batman. <laughs> I was like, who's the best Batman? <laughs> um, I am going to make a gut call. I've gone first a couple times in a row, so I'm going to make the excuse Please. that you guys have to pick first. Okay. Okay. Um, Kevin Conroy. But <laughs> but since he's not a category, uh, the Batman animated series Batman. <laughs> um, ben, do you have like I just thought that, DVD uh, stock? I and... want it. I want that DVD. I don't have it. Like the, I wish I was on Netflix. I, I, I figure out X Men is like not as cut. good as X Men is not as good as the Batman animated series. I, I thought it was. That. But I used to love the X-Men no, series. No, Batman, but Batman, Batman animated, animated like, Batman, series. It ages you know, well. It's like a fine wine. It's just so good. I mean, one of them won a best, like, like, one of them best, an Emmy for best best story. Like the best, like the the the, the Mister Freeze. That's the Mister Freeze. Yeah, yeah. Um, which they used, but kind of they did. And I that don't know if it came voice. out before yeah. or after. One thing, like this is a side note because I know we're a little long. But uh, one, one, one side note is like I remember as a kid when they're when they're announcing uh, Batman and Robin and Mr. Freeze is going to be announced. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Patrick Stewart Mr. has to be Freeze. Patrick Stewart has to be Mr. Freeze, <laughs> <laughs> and he could be a Professor X. We always thought Patrick Stewart be Patrick Stewart to be Professor X. They talked about a '90s movie, '90s doing uh, X Men. Uh, movie in the 90s and we thought okay Arnold Schwarzenegger has to be Colossus and and the bad guy from Kindergarten Cop has to be Wolverine <laughs> <laughs> I remember you telling me about I that I did but but I, I, I actually think uh, um, Michael Keaton's Batman is the best and there's a reason why because he's he's very quiet he is we haven't most, talked about that enough he's, he's, he's very quiet he's the most don't hold the mic like that. You're you know make, what? You're gonna make some rumbling. He's very quiet, and he's the most <laughs> iconic uh, Batman. Uh, in terms he of basically look. started all of this. He did. He started all, Adam like, West kind of did, but like what we imagine as Batman. The best costume, even though it's not functional to me, the best Batmobile, the best look of Batman is 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 Michael Keaton's Batman. I yeah. partially agree with that statement. Uh, Michael Keaton as the performance as Batman is unbelievably good. Quiet, stoic. The look, the the jaw, the 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 mouth. Everything looks great. The, now, physically, he's eh. small. Yeah. But in terms of but, little it, guy, but you take people out like next to him, he looks great. You know what I mean? He looks he looks Batman. But like the way he plays it, Batman revealing himself in the background. That was the, cool. Oh my god, it's like so iconic. You know, so iconic. I think Michael Keaton's Batman is the best, uh, hands down. Okay, Aaron. Um, I I consider you said this, you partially agreed about Michael. Well, King. I agreed that uh, I. The the Batman eighty nine suit and Batman Returns suit. I'm not the biggest fan of the overall design of those suits, but their silhouette is just about perfect. The way the neck uh, bleeds into the head, it, it looks menacing. Mm-hmm. So it, Batman Returns made it a little bit cleaner. Eh, yeah, they're they're pretty much the same to me. Yeah. They clean it up though. Well, the, the the mold was a little bit different than yeah, the other one. Yeah, it was pretty, actually, kind of junky in the first movie. If it you is, it actually. Close. If you looked at it up close, it looked really yeah, bad. I remember seeing it on Blu-ray for the first time. I was like, what Whoa. is this? And they talked about it. They, they, they said they, they clean it up in, in the next movie. They actually had a car designer Yeah. design the sculpture of, of the rubber mask and stuff. So that's why it has like, these art deco look to it. It's really cool. Like, I think Anywho. The, the second one is the best design, I think. I will say that uh, this decision is very hard because there are a lot of factors to consider. Like there's best suit. Almost like we just talked about all five of them. <laughs> and my answer for all of them was very different. Yeah. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why this is impossible. No, Go I, I'm going to have an answer. All right, good. Uh, the, uh, the biggest factors for me are uh, Batman demeanor, yes. Batman physicality, Ooh. bat suit. Mm-hmm. Um, Bat- Batmobile? Yeah, Batmobile. To you a focus on the Batman, like when he's the in actual, the costume fighting. Yes. So, all right. That's yeah. what is most important to me. Okay. And on those factors. Uh, and the actual <laughs> showcase price is? I remember what you said, so I, I'll be interested to know if you. <gasps> if you uh, keep it the same or change. Clever if girl. I said, when did I say what? I think you said Ben Affleck for the fighter category, which seems yeah. to like tackle most of this. So that that is a big umbrella. And yeah. physique. He had the he had the good old man old Batman physique. All not quite fat man, but he's getting there. Um He's bad Batman. He's he's like <laughs> <laughs> More physically, he's not like ripped. Like he's just like burly, uh, he's burly right. Batman. He's brooding, which Very is brooding. I. I mean, we talked about this. Like that's a Christian Bale is ripped. Yeah, 
and it, well, uh, my my decision would have to be. It has to be Ben Affleck because he's he's got wow. my favorite bat suit, hands down. Yeah, mm. it, and he's the, the best is, fighter. Yeah, I don't like the suit that much. It's the Batman, it's the Batman Dark Knight the Returns Miller, suit. Yeah. I love that suit so much. Yeah, and you know the That's animated true. series yeah. is. <laughs> got a little similarities to it too. All right, well, well, all right, enough with anime. It had the gray. All right, all it had right, the gray, right. which is kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. I like that suit too. Um, Years were too long. So I'm gonna hedge my bets here <laughs> a little bit I like uh, with the neck. My question after I say my favorite. Um, my favorite, the best Batman for me, which if we tally up, it'll be interesting because I haven't kept track of how we've tallied up. I mentioned it for Aaron, but I'll be interested to see how we tally up. Um, I think it has to be the Christian Bale one almost reluctantly because I think Michael, Michael Keaton, (laughs) Batman started a lot and had a lot of, they just weren't there. They weren't there yet for the, the Batman side. Need some Pepto Bismol over there? Or? <laughs> a little bit of Tums. <laughs> <laughs> We're a classy, classy pod. Go on. Here. Um, <laughs> and I actually think the biggest difference is that how they communicate darkness. Um, it's not even about the suit. It's not about the action. It's not about the villains. It's not about all the stuff. It's all about for me, which is different from you guys. Obviously, you know, you each brought up something specific that makes you think of Batman. When it comes to this character as a thing, and it actually all starts to your point, Ben, with the animated series. When I think of the animated series, I get this vision that because that's the first instance of Batman in my head, in my memory, I get all of these emotional like connections. And my closest connection to that is the Christian Bale Batman. Mm. So. Um, I think they did the like. Do you do you quit? Now here's the question: Do you quit Christian Bale's Batman because he's Bruce Wayne too? Is that part of the? Part no, of the, I didn't okay. even pick just, him as my favorite just Bruce Batman Wayne himself. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> as Bruce Wayne, uh, like I get a lot of he's one he's up there as one of my favorites, but like, uh, he's almost too disconnected from people. That it it borders on like I don't you think mean, we've seen the Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne. Or, yeah, I don't think we've seen the best um, Bruce Wayne I, actor know, yet. I, I, honestly, I, I, can I, can I because we we're this? constantly trying to improve on it. And but well, yeah, I'm going to disagree with you on that. But finish your thought, and I'll, and I'll come. No, back. I mean that's it. I mean, looking I, I, back, if, I, what's going to happen is I'm going to. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to make a. A short highlight video because I, I knew we were going to go over. I'm going to pull the best clips. I'm going to show like who we voted for for each category. Yeah. And what's going to happen is, I don't remember specifically, but I think at least I've said Christian Bale for two or three of these ahead of other people. And I might have put him second or third for others. And that's less to do with even his performance. And it's more a testament to Christopher Nolan concocting this character. And his brother it's too. less about the the acting than the the brains behind it. Okay, I, I'm going to disagree with you 100 here, and this is why I'm going to disagree with you. Um, I actually I actually think the opposite. I think Christian Bale's performance as Bruce Wayne is far better than he is as Batman for many reasons. Uh, I think he's too much. Too, he talks too much as Batman. Uh, I yep. think I think his voice is terrible as yep. Batman. I think it's 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 forced as Batman when he, like like he's forced the rage is just forced, uh, and I think why Michael Keaton is superior and his Bruce brain is not as good as is um, uh, in Christian Bale's in some way. I don't know who I even voted for. <laughs> I, but, <laughs> so you may be saying I may be contradicting myself. Right, yeah, be but but I, but in terms of character, it's I think probably I, animated. Series. Well, it, probably, <laughs> but 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 here's why. Here's why Michael Keaton is superior. Superior, and you and you went on a long list of why Pat Michael Keaton didn't develop it right. No, I, I I think what makes me think it's well, why I think it's better is because of this. I think subtlety in movies is it, 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 it's it, a lost it's art. a lost art. Yeah. 
uh, subtlety of of backstory, subtlety of of of, uh, of what's happening to this character, the the, the the deep thought about the 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 um, the subtext of what's going on in this character and his past is lost art in this movie. Uh, one example is Khan from Star Trek Two. Khan um, has a glove. That he doesn't take off, and he, and he unravels himself. It's very, it's very romantic the way he does it, like in terms of, of of style. But he doesn't take off one glove. We have no idea why. They never explain it to us. And I think that mystery, that mystery of why. But they immediate, even in the first movie, within the first hour, we got the story. We got it exactly. But there's like, more. To, there's more to it in his performance. There's more to it in how he delivers his line. Mm-hmm. He doesn't talk much. But yeah, that is a big advantage. He doesn't yeah. talk much, but, he yeah. lo- but you can tell like, his eyes, his eyes. So much acting is done with the eyes in Michael Keaton's Batman is why like, you can tell. He sure wasn't using his neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, but his eyes, his eyes, he like stood out. It was like, a, it was very film noir. It stood out and you can tell things were turning. The wheels were turning. I, I were noticed specifically some shots where they would like throw the the Morticia light on him. They where did. His eyes were illuminated. They did. Very film noir. Very yeah. film noir. Exactly. But he sold it with his eyes and, and, and the way he was thinking. I think that way of Batman was more brooding and scary. And you know what? He did strike fear to the villains. Like it was believable. Like if I was a villain in that Batman universe, especially the first one. I'd be frightened, hmm. frightened of him. You know what I mean? The way he just like he was very like scary, very way His portrayed. Movements were good. Oh yeah, it was very scary, and that was it's theatrical. And I think that was what Batman needs to be. I think they kind of did a good job with uh, um, your Batman. Yeah, because uh, remember, I, I'm going to say it again: the climbing on the walls, yeah. and the bursting through. Oh man, so good. They really. So did I, I would say, this is. I mean, this gets at all of us having a different opinion. It's like you are more, oh, that was scary. That was intimidating that how Michael Keaton did it. And you're saying, oh, he was climbing on walls and Ben Affleck. I would say the scene in Batman Begins where he's poaching people in the shipyard and like it's filmed like a horror scene of just people disappearing and like, "Ah, ah, I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Like, so we all, I mean, this gets at the character being so strong that. Different performances, different deliveries can convey a similar... But, okay, can I, can I counterpoint you? I agree with you. When I watched the first first Batman Begins and didn't have, didn't have a thought afterwards because the, the, movies, the other two movies didn't exist then, that was great. This is Batman. This is Batman. But because the other two movies existed more, they went away from that. They went away from that, like, crazy stuff. You know, like, like the scary, like, ninja. Yeah. You know, the, I, 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 I don't think... That overall impacts my feelings about the Christian So to me, I would I would end on this or okay. before we move on to the next or like our last thoughts is okay. that um if anybody's still watching. <laughs> a couple of people just joined. Congratulations. Nice. Um you are is that uh the hard the hardest part about this discussion, I think, is that some actors have had more opportunities. And Kirsten even with Bale. Michael Keaton, like when you talk about something being scary or something, like when we're talking about that, Batman Begins has the one scene and then they don't go back to it. Michael Keaton, I would argue, they don't go back to it. In Batman Returns, they don't show it's a lot. very, well, the problem, the problem it's that, very, it's very much the sequel is very much based on the villains and like, and, that, and you that know, was, it's and totally was, different. And that's the problem. Like they, they talked about the screen time of Batman, right? Like he's very, like I think that's the one he's little in it, in it the most. And it, so, but, but the scenes that Batman had weren't bad scenes. No, no, no. It's but, just like he didn't get a lot of screen time. But like you do lose, um, like to continue it, it's it's a higher bar. Yeah. Um. So, um. I actually think so. Christian Bale. Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck. Interesting. Three, three different. Wow. And they're not. They're not opinion. This is for me. It's not an opinion. Just to to get, have a good show like ESPN does when they disagree about the stuff. No, it's just a genuine. I don't think opinion. we need a consensus on this one. I mean, it no. was a close race for me. Who was your second? Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Wow. Who was your second? Keaton. Keaton. Close. Very Who close. Was my actually. Um, and it seems that all of our know. decisions were based on different aspects. Very different. Absolutely. things that we cared about I, yeah I, I, yeah 
Yeah. For me, Batman is a very visual thing. He's a comic book character. He needs to he needs to have the right look. So mm-hmm. in that in that spirit, let's very quickly because we're much wow. we're way over our normal run. Because time, we but, had, it's a big topic. Yeah. It's an um, important topic. Our showdowns go long. Uh if you had to pick a best Batman movie, what would it be? Let's not belabor it, but like, if you were gonna pick your favorite, what would it be? If I had to pick an absolute favorite, and, and for, unfortunately, unfortunately, your favorite Batman can't be in that because he's not. It's not a Batman movie. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't pick. Him. I guess it is. I guess in some case, BVS is not my favorite Batman movie. Um, I like it a lot in for its faults, but uh, my favorite overall Batman movie is movie. Batman Forever. Just because it's it's the package deal, and you know why I think why it's your favorite because I'm a little bit older than you, uh-huh. and I remember getting excited for that movie to see it. I think that affected you as a child more uh, when you started loving movies. Like I'm three or four years older than you, right? Four, yeah, four years older than you. So if you think about it, as a child when that came out, like that was more impact to you than a lot of movies. But it's a good movie. Like it, it, I, I think it's a good. That's a good Batman movie. It's well, a very solid already, movie. I had already seen Batman Returns before that, and I was like, "This is stupid." Yeah, <laughs> Batman Returns like kind of made and, Batman Forever or Batman um, and Robin uh, because it was too dark and too sexual. Uh, but I think that's a good choice. I don't. I'm not. Uh, but I think a lot of it is your childhood a little bit. And mm. for for favorite Batman movie, uh, you just said it. I know. Close second, Batman Begins. That's I a good like one. that one a lot. Go ahead. Uh, I, I to me the the best Batman movie of all time is Batman. Uh, Nineteen eighty nine. Nineteen eighty nine. Batman. Nineteen sixty six. Yeah, you're right. Before that, Batman was a joke. Before that, like, even yeah. more of a joke. It was so camp. Hey, in the forty series, we got to acknowledge really quickly but the, though the, the campy Batman. Has it like it's that good. movie though? They knew exactly what they were doing. It was doing. tongue in cheek. They were they, like, go down the the fire pole yeah. and like hit the button to quick change into your costume. Like they knew exactly well, you know, the, what they were doing, you know, you were and watching, it was really funny. Well, they, like, they, they they got Batman into the mainstream. Yeah, uh, the the forties look like, serious. Ah, 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 Batman used to drive like, much regular, more serious. Yeah, he used to drive yeah. a regular car. And his costume looked terrible. Yeah, his like, ears were like it awful. was floppy. It was like it was like, like bunny rabbit. little phallic. Like they were worse yeah. than the Adam West ears. Yeah, they were. Uh, so uh, uh, the reason why Batman is the best movie to me is because even though I like The Dark Knight a lot, like Dark Knight's a really good movie, um, it's still based in reality. There's still like a realism to it. And I think for me, for movies, especially superhero movies, I like when it goes, uh, takes me out. Takes me out of reality. And it's so stylized. I've had mixed feelings about it. Like, I don't know if you, when you watch movies, you're like, oh, I don't get it. Oh, I love it. Uh, you go through different phases. Mm-hmm. I think overall, my phase is, I love this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the most rewatchable. Yeah, the gothic look to it was so good. Yeah. You, you get like, well, because you, you, you grow as a person and like you, and as you get older, you, you have your own thoughts. It's almost like it was trying to uh, talk to the fact that its source material was comic books and stuff. It was, and and, 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 and like there were some liberties that they took with Joker killing his parents and and, and, and things like that. Spoiler, I didn't like that. but that movie was a happy accident altogether because they wrote it all. Like it was just like it Jack Nicholson said, we, "We need to." Pay. There's some. There's a lot of inconsistencies. Like, why are there villains in the church? How'd they get there? <laughs> you know, like they just got there. Yeah, like the the, the Joker have him in there the whole time. You know why? Are they, <laughs> why are they there? Uh, there were some stupid things in them, but like in terms of look, uh, definition of Batman. Uh, you know, just it, it does Batman well. Batman Returns is 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 cool looking, but it made it actually ultimately vapid. No, but here's the problem with Batman Returns. They they built a whole cool awesome set and they put a lot of money in the set, but they they filmed all the time on that set and Gotham City is just one block. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. it made it real small. It was real small, and I think so. I think Batman because oh. it takes me out of uh, reality, you know, and Mike and Jack Nicholson's awesome. The stylization, was absolutely beautiful, absolutely, and the music, music. That's the music. best Batman score, even though they're all pretty good. So I don't know. I have to pick animated series score. <laughs> Shirley Walker did it, and she was, and that was a really good score. And she was the conductor for D- uh, Danny Elfman, and they 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 totally started out with Danny Elfman's score uh, theme, and then they. Went to their own. It's just I think that's just equally as good. Did you know that I I when I was younger I didn't really care for Danny Elfman movie scores, but I liked Oingo Boingo, and I didn't know that that was also Danny Elfman. Mm. 
That's how he started out. He was a little intimidated when he did Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yeah, I, I like I like Oingo Boingo. Yeah, so Shirley Walker was one of the first female composers, and she died uh, tragically. But like she she paved the way for a lot of com- composers. Not a lot of female composers out there. You don't you don't hear them. But she but her music. She did mo- all the animated series and Batman uh, animated series, uh, Batman uh, the movie. Mess of the Phantasm, but she was amazing. And the, the scores to the animated series is like some of the best scores wow. ever written. Interesting. That's a whole other podcast. S- yeah. So if I had to choose, um, to me, it's between Batman, original, uh, Michael Keaton Batman, and Batman Begins. Is that the only? That's the only commonality we've got. Batman Begins wins. <laughs> and I'm trying. I really don't know because, as good as Heath Ledger is as the Joker, he's the best villain. Everything else yeah. about that movie is bad. Uh, the, the not act, bad, the but like not good, as man. good. The, the truck sequence is one of the best tr- uh, sequences in any movie compared to Indiana Jones. Yes, but it's a small snippet of it. A movie. It is, yeah. but I loved it. But the like. Come on, come on, hit me. Hit that, that part, good. that's an homage to, to the original. You're though. right. So, you're right. And we've had this discussion when we talked about Dracula. It's like this is, some of us give more, you and I, Ben, specifically give more to the old uh, bonus points to the originals that are the, you know, that get referenced that's- on and on and on. Um, and I thought Jack Nicholson was as like 90% maybe more of Heath Ledger as Joker. Like I I was I mean I hadn't seen the ri- I hadn't seen it in a long time. Like that was imp- really impressive to me what he did with that character. You know what was also really um, impressive with, with Jack Nicholson's per- uh, performance? His contract. He, every Batman movie, oh yeah, every Batman movie that comes money. out now, he gets um, a take out of it. The thing That's though wow. that ridiculous. The That's thing smart. about Heath Ledger is that there is that mystery to it. Like we don't we don't know. Like he is a chaos character. Like we don't know anything about Absolutely. him. We he gives us information but it could all be lies. We just see, don't know. Great. And he he stole the show cuz every time like oh, I want to see the Joker, I don't care about you Batman. Yeah. Like he like like, like, like that that's, that was the only. That's a big problem. Where are you, Shane? Like I want to see more Joker. The thing know. about okay, so uh, Tim Burton Batman creates the best universe in my mind. I think we all kind of agree. Yeah. Yes, that it the gothic nature, the darkness, the it uses models and matte paint, like all this Beautiful. stuff to Beautiful. create Beautiful. exactly it was what marriage. it should look like. It's not realistic. I am. I think I'm going to give the slight favor to Batman Begins based on. Every, I mean. It's. I mean, you know it's what? not a surprise. Like everything I've said is like I love the the underlying um, they psychology got to the core of Batman. Yeah, that's what I appreciate the most about the all comics. the Christopher Nolan stuff is that it, it's practicality stuff in like a real world, but it's rooted in something that I really find interesting. The is, only thing that that so, take was missing was the mental instability. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they never went that far. Can I say this to you? That'd be my favorite. Why I agree with you, like the thing that Batman Begins and the even even the Dark Knight Rises to me has compared to, to the Dark Knight is uh, those two movies do take me a little like they're still not quite realistic. Like the Narrows didn't seem like a real place. No, yeah. Like and and, 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 and like in Dark Knight Rises, that plot looked, was kind of ridiculous. And in Dark Knight, remember when he bends that barrel of the gun? <laughs> yeah, but, that, but but like Dark Knight felt more real to me. I think Dark, Dark Knight felt like, oh, a, real, that like was, a real villain and he was fighting. You know, yeah, it felt that more was real. Stupid. I think that's a good thing about the other two is like it took me away a little bit, a mm-hmm. little bit, not as complete as uh, Tim Burton. Well, the Dark Knight, Dark Knight, the Dark Knight is kind of a it's like a black a, sheep, a, a wedge between. It's almost like Dark Knight Rises is a sequel to Batman Begins. You're right, uh, yeah. and obviously. Heath Ledger's death threw a wrench into everything, the but they made it jerk. into a boom, boom, and they didn't try to respond beyond just like kind of casually referencing Harvey Dent and what happened. With and the good thing but, about Christian Nolan movies, they're all one off movies. Like, you don't have to watch the other ones to. to no, you kind of get yeah, it. They're so. one movie. I like that. I, I, I admire that. Well, we've had a, uh, a smattering of opinions here. This is interesting. I'll, uh, and mine are the best. Yeah, clearly, <laughs> and I am right. I write a hundred percent of time. What I do, th- wow. what <laughs> what I do know is that next week's Justice League will not be as entertaining. Oh, it's going to be you full of gold, my friends. You don't know. Do you want us to do this for a living? 
<laughs> Please don't listen because it's going to be boring for you. <laughs> Who wants to vote Matt out of the podcast? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, Me. Of, no, he is the podcast. Yeah. Um, so he's, Justice he's, League next week. Uh, we're gonna. It's gonna be a fun show. Yeah, that'll be it's interesting. Gonna, well, what does the Joker say? It's gonna be a swell time time on the town tonight, or whatever he says. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Where they get a load of me. Mm. Boop, boop, boop. All right. All right. I All right. Think All we're right. done here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Please. Uh, thank you for that. Right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Not just, bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We're gonna end on Val Kilmer as Iceman. Woo! Bye. <laughs> Da na 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 <laughs>